Hey everyone, Alicia here with another Lightened Up Weight Watcher Friendly Recipe. And today I'm getting ready to do my lunch prep and what I'm gonna be making are pepperoni pizza sliders. I love the different sliders that you can do with the Hawaiian rolls. They're really easy. There's lots of different variations you can do. I have shown a couple other ones on my channel before that I'll go ahead and link up above and down below if you wanna check those out. But again, this is gonna be a pepperoni pizza version of these. They're super easy, but they're really delicious, and they're also kid-friendly, so I really like making these, and I thought I would just show you guys how I do these. So let me jump into ingredients real quick. So as far as ingredients go, I am doubling this because I like to make these for dinner or lunch prep, and what we'll do is we'll usually eat probably half of them during the week, and then I'll freeze the other half for a later lunch or dinner. So I like to just make a bunch up at once and save myself some cooking later. And I do have it in the recipe builder as doubled, but it says that, and you can easily half this if you want to. But again, these do freeze well. So if you wanna make as many as I'm showing, you can definitely freeze them for later. So starting here, I've got some Hawaiian rolls. These are the Kroger brand. I've never actually tried the Kroger brand before, but they were a whole lot cheaper. So <laughs> I went with them and they're the same amount of points as the King Hawaiians, which I typically use. So I've got two 12 roll packs of those. Back here is my homemade marinara sauce. This is three cups of that. And the points on that is four for the three cups. So you can use whatever type of marinara sauce you want, but just so you know, that is four. I know there's some recipes out there for a zero point. Um, you could use that. You could use a canned, whatever you wanna use. I will link my video where I show how I make this one up above and down below if you want to check that out. I really enjoy this one. And it does, like I said, it has four points for a batch of it of three cups, but I don't think that's too bad. It tastes really good and it's really versatile. It works for all kinds of things. Next up, you're going to need some turkey pepperoni. I've got some of this Hormel and I'm going to be using 48 slices of this. We're also gonna need some part skim mozzarella. I'm gonna be using two cups or this bag worth. And then I'm gonna make a seasoned garlic butter spread for the top of these. And I'm gonna be using four tablespoons of this Brumble and Brown. This is just a butter spread that's made with real yogurt. I like this one. Let me know though what types of butter spreads you guys use because I've been using this one for a really long time and it would be maybe fun to try out a different one that you guys think is really good and low points, of course. I am also gonna be using a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and then a couple teaspoons of minced garlic. And that's everything that's in this. It's very, very simple, very minimal ingredients. That being said, if you wanted to kinda of spice this up a little bit, add things to it, veggies, other meat, you can absolutely do that, make this your own. This is one that I tend to like to kind of just make really simple. For one thing, it keeps it really easy. And the other thing is my son likes it when I make it like this. So, you know, when I go adding a lot of veggies to it, which I typically like to do with my recipes, he doesn't like it as much as if I just make it plain pepperoni and cheese. But do whatever you want with this, have fun with it, and make it your own. That's the other thing about these sliders, I love the slider recipes because they're just kind of fun to make. So let me jump in and get this started. First thing, on a cookie sheet that I've lined with foil, I'm gonna take my rolls and I'm gonna cut the tops off of them and then just place the bottoms on my foil lined pan. I use this uh, knife to do that, it works pretty well. And after saying that works pretty well, those were <laughs> a lot more difficult to cut through than say the King's Hawaiian and they ended up unfortunately not staying together too well. So I'm gonna remove this and then I'm gonna do the same with the next. Now that I've got those tops cut off, I'm gonna take my marinara sauce and I'm gonna evenly spread this on the tops of both of these. And now I'm going to evenly sprinkle my cheese between the two. Followed by my pepperoni and I put 24 slices on each one. So two basically on each roll. And now I'm going to put the top spec on. 
and set that aside. So in a small bowl here, I'm going to melt up the four tablespoons of this Brummel and Brown. And to that melted butter spread, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of my Italian seasoning and a couple teaspoons minced garlic. Then I'm gonna just mix all that together really well. Now I'm gonna take my butter spread here and I'm gonna evenly just kinda of brush this on the tops. And we love our garlic in this house, so this spread is a little garlic heavy. You definitely don't need to use as much as I am using. You could just use a teaspoon, even a half teaspoon if you wanted. And now these are ready to go into my preheated oven at 375. And I like to start them off around 15 minutes, but they take anywhere from 15 to 20. These I let cook or bake for just about 18 minutes. They are looking and smelling done. So I pulled them, I'll let them just kind of rest or cool a couple minutes before I cut into them. Here's kind of a look inside. They look like. Okay, I've got a couple of these on a plate, which is probably what I'm gonna be eating tonight. Now these are, I will say, a little bit on the high side. They are six points a piece. To me though, that's completely worth it because they're so good and they definitely hit the spot when you're craving something like pizza. And they are a much better option, calorie and point wise, than regular pizza. So I think it's worth it. Two of these, which is what I'm gonna be eating tonight, is 11 points and that is, you know, good chunk of my points, but I will save points for this type of thing just so I can eat it and enjoy it and then therefore not necessarily feel like I need to have pizza. And pizza is probably one of my favorite foods. You will find a whole lot of pizza inspired, pizza like recipes on my channel just because I enjoy it so much. So this is just kind of another example of a way to satisfy that pizza craving without too many points and too many calories. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.